For nearly nine months our joeys have grown, changing their appearance from that of tiny pink beans to young kangaroos, increasing their weight from under one gram to nearly two and a half kilograms. And so far their only nourishment has been milk. That is about to change. It is now time for their final sense to be stimulated and in the next phase of their education their sense of taste will help them learn what to eat. The western grey kangaroo gives birth during our dry, hot summer. Food can get scarce this time of the year, making life hard for their mothers. But the rains usually arrive before all the joeys are ready to peep out, and when they do, grass is abundant. With some of those juicy blades at the right height, to tempt any young roo. However, looking through a curtain of grass is not without its problems, and our Joey soon found out this strange green stuff can poke an eye, tickle an ear, easily find its way up a nostril, and if you happen to be biting a piece when mum suddenly moves, it can get pushed down your throat. By simply going about her daily routine, her Joey hanging out of the pouch, the kangaroo mother teaches her baby what it must eat. Unlike some species, there is little danger the joey will consume something it is not supposed to. This is because a joey's head follows the same path as its mother's, safely nibbling the same grass she grazes. When she stretches to browse, it has its face pushed into the same bush. And when its head meets hers, it smells the food she has eaten and knows what is safe and more importantly, what isn't. Observing Wattle and Tingle progress through the stages of their pouch life, we became convinced that all the knowledge gained by the pouched marsupial means it has a great advantage over a newborn placental mammal, including humans.